Hi, welcome back. I'm Kathy, and if you're new to my channel, I do food and product reviews. And a couple of videos ago, I did a food finds video, and I tried some um, pumpkin popcorn or pump pumpkin caramel corn from Aldi. Um, and I mentioned that I'm kind of a snob about uh, caramel corn because I like the caramel corn I make. So when I buy it in the store, uh, usually I'm disappointed because it's not as good as mine. So a few people had commented that I should do a video making my caramel corn. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how to make it today. It's super easy. But if you decide at the end of the video that, mm, no, this isn't for you, it's too much work, but you love caramel corn and you want to try my, my caramel corn, I will tell you how you can do that at the end of the video. All right, so let's get started. Okay, first we're going to start with popcorn. This is 18 cups of popcorn. I have this in a half a sheet cake pan. Uh, I did spray it. You're going to make sure you spray it well. Um, but if you don't have a cake pan like this, uh, you can use like a roasting pan or you can even go to like the Dollar Tree or um, Walmart and get one of the aluminum pans, um, you know, like roasting pans. Just, just, you just need something bigger so once you pour the caramel on, you can uh, toss the popcorn in it without it going everywhere. All right, so this is what I use to pop my corn in. This is the Presto Pop Light hot air popper. I got this on, I think I got it on Amazon. I've had it for so long, I can't remember. Uh, but I did look on Amazon. They do have it and just, uh, and they have a new model. This is like an older model, uh, but it still, it makes 18 cups of popcorn. It's crazy. This is a half a cup. This sits up here, but this is a half a cup measure. So you measure the popcorn and then you just pour it in there. And you get 18 cups of popcorn. So I will put a link to this in the description if you're interested in getting one. Uh, if not, a cheap way to do it is take a brown paper bag, uh, put a third of a cup of uh, popcorn in here. Okay, you can have this open and then you just fold this over and you put it in the microwave for two to two and a half minutes. Just uh, what you also need is a half a cup of butter, a half a cup of corn syrup, a cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, baking soda, and a teaspoon of vanilla. You're gonna to wanna to heat your oven up to 250 and put this in the oven, just like this. I know it seems weird, but put this in the oven while you're heating up your uh, caramel, caramel. Um, but it's important because you don't want the popcorn to be cold. You want it to be warm. So when you pour on the caramel, it will it will won't start to set up really quick. It will just it, it's just easier for it to mix up when the popcorn is warm. So I'm gonna put this in the oven now. All right. So I'm just gonna make it on this little burner I have uh, just for lighting and making it easier than trying to cook it on the stove. All right. So I'm just gonna put on medium half a cup of butter, so a stick of butter. And I do prefer to use butter over margarine, but you could use margarine if you wanted. Your brown sugar, half a cup of corn syrup, pull that out of there, and a half a teaspoon of salt. Let it melt, melt down all the butter. All right, so it's getting there. It's all, the butter's almost melted. Get it all stirred together. Okay, the butter is melted and it is starting to boil. So I'm going to leave it like this for five minutes and I'm not going to stir it. And you do not stir it. Okay, so it's been five minutes. I'm going to turn it off. Uh, shouldn't be doing it that way, but anyway, I'm going to take it off the heat this. And I'm going to take my baking soda, half a teaspoon, and then a teaspoon of vanilla. Mix that up good. Very hot. Very, very hot. All right, we're going to move over here. Oven. Pour this on top. There we go. 
get it all out of there. Try to just move it around so it's not all in one spot. Once again, this stuff is very hot. Get out as much as you can. I'm gonna work kind of fast here so it doesn't set up on you. And I get a, um, a metal spoon and I spray it just so it doesn't all stick. All right, now you just gotta toss it all together. Yeah. It's gonna bake for a total of 45 minutes, but every 15 minutes I pull it out and stir it just so I can make sure it's all getting coated. So if you don't get it all the first time, don't worry about it. Just move it over here. All right, so I'm gonna put this back in the oven at 250 and uh, bake it for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna stir again. All right, it's been 15 minutes, so it's time to give it a stir. It's bubbling up a little there. Just try to get it coated. And once again, you will be stirring it again, so if you miss a spot, that's okay. All right, back in for another 15 minutes. All right, it's been another 15 minutes. Stir it up again. So, so you'll stir it one more time when it comes out. Um, but probably this time you need to make sure you get it nice and coated. Just a few pieces. But for me personally, I don't like caramel corn that's really heavily coated. So if a piece isn't fully covered, it's okay. Unless you like it like really heavy and then you know maybe do less popcorn. So it goes in for 15 more minutes and then it will be finished. So the caramel corn is almost done. So I want to lay out you can use um, parchment paper or wax paper, whatever you have. Um, When it didn't do a very good job there getting it in, but that's all right. Do it this way. There we go. So when it comes out, I'm going to stir it one more time, and then I'm going to lay it out on the paper so it can cool. All right, it is finished. I'm going to stir it one more time. off a little bit and then I'll put it in a, in a container so it stays fresh. So I told you it was easy. I uh, wasn't lying to you and it is so so good. It makes perfect little gifts. Uh, these are each like three and a half cups something like that and I got four bags. So I already know what it tastes like but you know I have to try it. Ready? One, two, three. saying Kathy no that's too much trouble I don't want to do it but I would love to try it I will send you two bags 
not these two bags. I will make it fresh for you whenever you like it. Um, but you have to donate $25 to my channel to help support my channel because YouTube doesn't pay me a lot. So if you want, if you want to try my caramel corn, um, you can email me at this email address or you can send me a message on uh, Facebook or Instagram and I will be happy to send you two bags. Only, it's only in the U.S. And I'm sorry, Hawaii and Alaska, shipping costs would be more than $25. So I can't do it. You would like to try it, but I, I suggest you make it first because it is super easy. And it would make great gifts and for the holidays. Uh, you could put these in like a little uh, mason jar or something and give it to a gift. You know, if you have kids, you know, give it to your teachers. It makes a great gift. So like I said, super easy to make, super cheap. Um, so I say, I say at least give it a try and if it doesn't work out then you can donate to my channel and I'll send you a couple bags anyway so so good so I don't have a question today or I guess I do have a question do you like caramel corn let me know in the comments below all right if you like the video hit that thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please think about hitting that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications I really appreciate you watching and I hope you have a wonderful day I will see you next time bye